day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we want to extend happy 4th of July as we celebrate our independence. Today we will understand from history, from the word of God, for that which is around us, that every battle that is being fought is a battle for freedom. So as we celebrate our freedom this weekend, whether it is physical or spiritual, it is a battle that we will remain liberated. We will continue to stay free. So today marks a very important day in the American history as we celebrate our independence. In our war for liberty and freedom, we fight to stay free from so many things. Freedom from slavery, freedom from oppression. For those that know Jesus Christ is freedom from the bondage of sin. We fight to stay free from oppression, from hatred, from racism, from segregation, from terrorism from wars that are within and wars that are without. We see that the Americans, we ate or have a holy hatred, a distaste, a dislike for tyrants, for dictatorship and for destroyers of that which is the human's will and that's why we fight for democracy this is the very reason why we confront terrorism whether it is at home grown here or otherwise for the believers we look at second corinthians 10 verse 4 and five it says the weapon we use are not human ones or weapons of power from god and can destroy the enemy's strong places we destroy people's arguments and we tear down every proud idea that rises itself against the knowledge of God. We also capture every thought and make it give up to obey Christ. So as believers in Christ, the true secret of warfare is using divine weaponry. What are some of the divine weaponry that we can use in our earthly environment? We use such things as prayer and fastings. Such divine weaponry as praise and worship and the word of God amongst so many other divine weaponry that we have and can use as children of God. We use them to demolish the strongholds of the enemy. First Timothy 6 and verse 12. Let us as believers Fight the good fight of faith so that we can lay all on eternal 
life. St. John 8 and verse 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you are free indeed. So if Christ have made you free from sin by his own son, his only begotten son, the one whom God sent into the world, not to condemn us for our sins, but to give us eternal life if we would only believe on him. So he says, when you believe, and indeed have become free, you are no longer a servant of sin. Therefore, today, I encourage you to stay free in Christ. In the land of the free and the home of the brave. God bless you. Thank you again as we celebrate our freedom in whatever way, whether it is our independence in this land of the free or our deliverance from sin. Thank you again for watching and may God bless the youth.